I told you we'd be coming back to installing the stove pipe for the wood stove. Let's back up to January where Andrew spent a lot of time laying the tile, installing it, and getting everything ready for the wood stove hearth. It looks really good, but we had to get the wood stove installed. Finally, we had the manpower and were able to get the wood stove brought up from downstairs. And then the next part was installing the through the wall kit. And that is what this video is highlighting. Get one through the wall kit and as many 36 inch pipe pieces as you need to clear the roof properly. No video is complete without a pack of little gangsters and that is what we have here. We finally gave them all away but that was so much fun when we had them. This project took place over a couple days. We first had to get the bucket truck up here, wait for some breaks in the rain, and mostly just have the, enough people to be able to contribute. Wood stove is located in the corner of the living room and out there that you see is the sun porch. And that is one of the six inch pipes, triple wall pipes that we are installing outside. Andrew has already installed the through the wall kit right over the wood stove and then we have about four sections of this pipe that we need to attach before we cap off the chimney. Tall ladders, bucket trucks, booms, while not absolutely necessary, it sure made this job a lot easier because we are basically two and a half stories up from the ground. And so it just makes the job a lot safer, easier to do. When we installed the stove pipe for the back, the for the backwood stove, we had a friend who did it and wow, he roped himself in. It was seemed like a dangerous operation and it probably was. We had wished we could get the bucket truck in the back. The Dura vent. 36 inch. As previously mentioned, to get the wood stove connected to the outside, the easiest way is to purchase a through the wall kit, which has all the pieces that you need to get through the wall. It was very handy. The only piece that we did not use was the support because we had to install our pipe a little bit more out from the house because of our thicker walls or something. And so Andrew built this wooden one so that it would so that it would work. I think it was actually because of the eaves being a little bit wider. One, two, three, four sections, and then we have the top one that has to go on. sure what he's doing, whether he's burning off some old creosote from this used pipe, or if he's just blowing some dust off. I suspect just something clogging up those little vents. This one is upcycled from another uh, wood stove that either we use or somebody else uses, I can't remember. But these other pieces of the Dura vent pipe are new. when we did something with the back porch in the back fireplace we ended up dropping a section or two of this stuff and it is not something you want to do they're super expensive and it's not worth it to drop them best to just be careful What Andrew's doing here is installing a piece of wood so that it can anchor the top so that the wind doesn't blow it around. We also do have these ties that wrap around the chimney and he's looking to see if he can find a place to anchor it. Thank you. 
I checked with the operations manager and inspector, and he seems to think that everything is in line to this point. It's looking pretty good for installing this strap around it, and so that anchors it really well. We do get some wind out here, not as high as in some areas, but we do have to pay attention. These next pieces from the inside are for anchoring the stove so that it stays in place and are also for cosmetic purposes to hide the edges of the tile. Outside, we still have a lot of mist and fog, off and on rain, just back and forth every single day. Inside, it's looking pretty good. The cats are here to inspect. That looks like another one. With most of the chimney in place, they took a break to dig some lines for the burying the cable, hoping that this time it will be a little bit safer. After a few little adjustments of straightening, we got it finished and looking really good. And I took the opportunity a few times here to take a break from taxes and have a little spot of tea. Oh, lovely. I got caught in the shower. I came out for a nice little walk to check the tanks and got caught in the downpour. But somewhere around here, is a sky that looks like it's trying to clear so i'm hoping it'll go fast before i get completely soaked i'm taking refuge under a few trees that's probably not a smart idea because of lightning but it is what it is as they say i predict it's going to go fast let's try and wait it out in spite of the rain, I saw a few new things blooming in my garden. This beautiful Spanish lavender, the, what is this? The thyme is blooming, and we have the flaming azaleas just coming out, which are native to our area. It's a real treat when we get to see those. I told you in my last video that you have to smile or you will cry because the rain comes and the floods come up and sometimes it washes things right away that you've been working hard on. Tell you what, by the time Friday evening came, we were exhausted. It felt so good to sit there and enjoy the fire, kick our feet up and not have to work for 24 hours.